Well, good evening, good people. Mark Holmes here, and as always, I want to say thank you all for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of the Joe Boo Sports Report. Without you guys, as well as you ladies, you know that this literally does not work. I hope everybody's having a great Memorial weekend, and um, we are going to be talking a little bit about Michael Irving and the Michael Irving case here um, because it's kind of time-sensitive um, as in what's going on. We're going to be finding out within the next two weeks when the trial will actually be heard uh, from this. And um, it's Michael Irvin. I'm not sure that Michael Irvin will ever get back to where he was. Um, Michael Irvin has not been in the public eye very much. Uh, in fact, I don't recall seeing anything on Michael Irvin of note since the NFL draft when he was doing a uh, – YouTube get together with Charles Haley, Nate Newton, and himself uh, for an RV uh, company. Um, clearly, Michael Irvin is not whole from where he was. Literally, five minutes, five minutes changed his life. Um, the case itself, he is suing for an undisclosed amount uh, currently now because it's basically going to be up to the jury to decide if he wins. Um, Michael Irvin's attorneys filed um, an amended complaint in the case. They ended up adding spouses to the case. And the reason you add the spouses per legal pad, shout out to illegal pad, definitely check out his channel and subscribe to him. He's an attorney and he will give you the complete lowdown on everything, not just Michael Irvin, but everything legally. The amended complaint, ended up having the spouses because when you sue somebody, uh, if it's common property, well, okay, if you only sue the one individual, if it's common property, you can't get your hands on that. That's why they ended up naming those. Legal Pad pointed out that Jane Doe, at least at the time of his video a couple of weeks ago, had not been served yet that everybody else in the case had been served and we don't know why she wasn't served, but that case that amended complaint was filed on april 31st so per arizona law you have to have an early meeting to answer the calls or the answer the charges and things like that to have a discussion which means by may 31st which is tuesday they need to have had that meeting they're supposed to have it as early as possible um, however it could be as late as the 31st of may Within two weeks of that time, they're supposed to get together and have a joint report on the charges that are there and set a trial date for this situation. So we should find out by the 14th of June at the latest when this trial is actually going to be scheduled. Um, as far as Michael Irvin goes, again, this is the, the tape where we're told that basically Michael Irvin is a sexual predator and Michael Irvin um, did something nefarious and deserved to lose his career, which you have to look at it and say he has lost his career. Looking at ESPN, I'm curious on the numbers of did they lose viewership with uh, First Take? Um, with the dynamics changing in the sports world, um, you see YouTubers, you see that everything is going more and more towards streaming and individualized. We've seen ESPN cutting back on talent and letting people go that this may be a way for the NFL network and ESPN to save themselves some money on an expensive, talented person. I don't think after all of this that Michael Irvin gets his career back. In the end, everything is about one thing with the NFL, and that is money. The NFL is going to side with the ones that are buttering the bread. Marriott is a corporate sponsor. They paid the NFL a lot of money to be a corporate sponsor. If they end up Michael Irvin 
back on television, especially after he wins a whole bunch of money from them, if he does indeed win, that's kind of a smack in the face of the NFL's the NFL's uh, sponsor. And again, when you're getting about $50 million or more, excuse me, sorry, make that about $350 million from a corporate sponsor like Marriott, um, you'll probably end up siding with them as opposed to Michael Irvin. And unfortunately, that's the sad truth. And I'm sure when Michael Irvin went back to the hotel, and had this interaction and this conversation that he never thought that this would be an, a life-altering event. And it has been. His life has completely changed from this. Now, is Michael Irvin an innocent person for everything he's done in his life? No, Michael Irvin did have things that happened in the past. But the thing that's always been great about America is... We're supposed to be very forgiving. Michael Irvin did things that were wrong, but changed his life and was on the right track and is an extremely talented individual, a very friendly individual, and a person who would always give his time. And I'm not sure that he deserves everything that he's getting from this. Uh, to have the company that he worked for literally turn his back, their back on him and not really do any kind of an investigation on him and to ultimately just kick him to the curve. I'll be 100% honest. I can't say with certain what was said in the conversation right there. This is he said, she said. But there's so many people So many people that have done so much worse than what is even possible in this interaction that have had not even the blink of an eye. I hope Michael Irvin wins this case, but even when you win, sometimes you lose. This is, unfortunately, there is no fixing this. There is no fixing this. We'll have to wait and see how this goes, what happens. Maybe this ends up settling out of court quietly with an undisclosed agreement. Maybe Michael Irvin gets his life back that way. But if it goes to trial and Marriott is made, you know, definitely the bad guy, don't expect him to get his job back. I'm Mark Holmes. And I appreciate you.